Well, we did not get an update from Erie County Executive Mark Polenkars yesterday on COVID-19, which meant today he had a lot of information to share. Two on your sides, Leanne Stuck joins us now with the latest. Leanne. Mary Alice, Erie County Executive Mark Polenkars had a lot to announce during a COVID-19 briefing this afternoon. Among the most important was that a cluster of coronavirus cases has been discovered at a local nursing home and that local law enforcement will begin finding those who are violating the governor's pause order. Pullen cars confirmed what two on your side learned Friday, that Father Baker Nursing Facility in Orchard Park has a cluster of cases. Of the 130 patients at the facility, 39 have tested positive for the virus. He said that all staff was tested for the virus yesterday and the results are still pending. The county is working with the State Department of Health on containment. And so we are very concerned about a cluster and an outbreak at that nursing home and our Department of Health is in contact with the New York State Department of Health. And once again, New York State Department of Health is determining the standards for containment and care with Catholic health systems. Poland cars also took time to warn people that all local law enforcement are able to enforce Governor Cuomo's pause order. He said a first time violation could be a $2,000 fine. A business violation could be a $10,000 fine. Pullen car said he has heard that some businesses have talked about opening despite the governor's orders. He said that is a criminal act and could get people arrested. And two more things of note, Pullen car said he does not believe Erie County schools will reopen before the end of April. He also said he's been seeing discarded masks throughout the community. He's advising people to take their used masks and throw them out. Leon Stock, Channel 2 News.